Welcome to a new video. I would like to start this video with a little story. I was perusing YouTube, like you do, and I came upon a channel called Cat's Customary, specifically a video about a lace haul that she'd recently done. I clicked on it and began to watch. I then fell asleep, not because of the video, but because I hadn't been sleeping very well. The video finished, and I woke up about 20 minutes later, and I thought I must have a lace stash. I already have a fabric stash and a button stash, so a lace stash is simply the next logical step. So me and my sleep adult brain started to peruse eBay. This is the result. I bid on a few items and I bought a few items and this is my haul. So I'm going to take you through everything that I've got and I've already looked at it and kind of decided what I'm going to keep and what I'm not because obviously when you get a job lot which are your best friend. You might not always want to keep everything that is in there. I thought I'd take you along for this journey. So I'm gonna bring you in a bit closer and show you what I got. So I'm gonna show you guys the lace here. The ones that I am keeping, I'm gonna put on this side. And then the ones I'm not keeping, I'm gonna put on that side. And there shouldn't be a maybe pile, but I can't guarantee anything. We'll start with the box. As cute as this lace is, I don't think I'm ever going to, you know, make something in this shade of pink. And I just don't think I'm going to use it. It doesn't automatically appeal to me. So I'm going to put it on this side. Then we have a lovely stretch lace. It's got a slight stretch to it and it's got this lovely floral pattern to it i'm not sure about this one i don't really have any use for stretch lace so i'll probably put that in the note pile this is an adorable thin edging lace and i've got loads of it there's a slight mark there i don't know what that's from um, but <laughs> because I have so much of it, I'm going to keep it. This one feels slightly stretchy, but I don't know if that's just basically the weave of it. It's really unique. I haven't seen any lace quite like this before, so I'm probably going to keep it. I have a decent amount of it. It will probably come in useful at some point. Another tiny lace. This box has a lot of really thin lace. I'm going to see if... Ah! There's a pin there. Again, a really sweet edging lace. It's got like tiny hearts on it. If you put it that way up, they'd be tiny hearts. Do I have a need for more tiny edging lace? Probably not. I might put this one in a no pile. This one again is really cute. But it's... I don't know. I've got a lot of it, as I said, like the others. I'm going to put that one in the maybe pile for now. Um, and we'll think about that one. We have a crochet lace. I'm going to keep all the cro crochet lace because it's very kind of historically accurate or it looks very historically accurate. And I'm probably going to put something similar on my 1870s bodice. So I'm going to keep this one. A tiny, stretchy, multicoloured lace. I'm not going to use this one. So that's going to go in the no pile. This lovely scalloped lace. It's got a really thick top to it. So I think it's been on a garment already. Um, it doesn't seem to be... F I don't know if it's folded and been sewn down. But on the scalloped edge, I really like it. So I'm going to keep this one. A crochet lace in this really deep beige tan colour or light tan colour deep beige gonna keep a roll of sparkly scallop lace that's gonna go that way more teeny tiny edging lace this is so delicate this one and i just love the little kind of wheels it's gonna go that way we have a tiny bit of this maroon lace 
that I think you can technically cut down the middle just to get a bit more. This colour will probably come in useful because I make a lot of black things. This will make a really nice accent colour. It will be really nice for like an autumn skirt as well. Then we have this really unusual kind of crochet look lace. It's not crochet itself I don't think. But it's kind of got this spidey webby vibe. You know I'm going to keep this one. Then we have these three. So it's just a general floral type lace in three different colours and it's just not colours I'm going to use. I might keep the purple one and give the other two away because I, I just don't think I'm going to make garments with this colour on although they could be useful for like petticoats and things because obviously you're not going to see it so you could use any colour lace you want and I might Obviously I might make purple garments because I love the colour purple, so it might work for that. The peach and the lemon, although the lemon is quite cute the more I look at it. And I might make a yellow dress or need to use the lemon in something. No, I'm going to be good. I'm going to say if I don't think I'll use it this year and I don't have a, like, a specific project in mind, I'm going to get rid of them um, and I'm going to get rid of the purple one as well because as as pretty as they are I don't think they are quite suitable for the projects that I make so these are going to go. We're back to this one, the one in the maybe pile. I'm going to keep it. We have these two pieces of scallop lace, they're quite short so they might be good for I don't know. I don't think they necklines, maybe. But I think for me personally, they'll go in my no pile. Then we have a teeny tiny bit of this lace with cute flowers on. I'm gonna say no. There's not enough of it to do anything. It's slightly stretchy. I don't know whether that's the weave or not. And as cute as it is, I don't think I'll use it. Then we have this quite strange lace. It reminds me of curtains, but not the actual curtains, the kind of lazy stuff you put in between the curtains and the window. But, and it's very, it's very bright white, but you could fussy cut it, so you could cut all this bit off, and then you could fussy cut it around here, or even around these bits. It's got potential, and I've got a whole bunch of it. So I think for that reason, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm, I was also thinking about maybe trying that on my old or my bronze bodice and ball gown which I am in the process of um, changing up and things like that and I am filming it and I, there will be a video so I might try and use that on it try and use it up a bit. Then we just have some more tiny scallop lace. Again do I need more tiny lace? I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's a nice amount of it. That'll go in my maybe pile for this one. And some more tiny little lace. We haven't got that much of it, so for that reason, I'm gonna go next. Then I have some things that fell out. We have this almost doily fabric. But looking at it, actually, I don't think I've looked at this one very closely. This one's trying to get back into the frame. I would have to say, I don't think I've got enough to do the neckline of my bronze bodice, because that would have been really quite nice. But it would be nice for sleeve cuffs or um, kind of elbow ruffle things. So I think this one I'm actually going to keep. Are you sick of thin lace yet? See, this is really, really delicate, and the colours coming through on the middle bits, and that would look really, that would work really nicely for a garment because the colour would come through on the middle bits. I really like that. I think I'm going to keep it just for that one. I've got an okay amount of it. I will have to measure all of these before I store them. We have another multicoloured lace. I have a broderie anglais that I made my one of my corset covers out of and a chemise in this kind of 
multicolored embroidery on clay. I'm not going to use it myself, so it's going to go on that side. We have this lovely floral lace with organza kind of middles to the flowers and you could fussy cut this in so many ways you could just fussy cut it down the center and use it as a border you could cut each flower out and use that you could bead the flowers as well which i'm kind of considering seeing if that will work on my ball gown not sure there's all there's another lace that i would prefer to put on my ball gown which i'll show you in a bit but i'm going to keep this one because i really like it and there's so much potential there is a linear lace i can see potential in this one but oh there's a pulled thread there i haven't got a huge amount of it but you could fussy cut it in so many ways but i think for me i am going to say no a lot more fell out of the box than i thought it did we have this one it's got really deep scallops and curves and it is quite pretty and you could fussy cut it around here and you could do lots of really nice things with it so i think i might keep this one and you know if i don't use it in a few months or a year then i can get rid of it I will, I'll, I'll wrap it up later we have this quite interesting one it's very linear but you could cut out these bits here and run a ribbon through it and it's kind of like this peachy very 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 light orange color so this one i'm not sure about so i'm gonna put it in my maybe pile on this card we have two gorgeous trims we have this sort of uh gapur lace in this delicate kind of cream color and then if i get this one out and then we have this, ooh, this scallop trim i'm gonna keep these two we have a card with two trims on it there's just two of this kind again we have a lovely little scallop and then this sort of pointy cobwebby one i don't think i'm gonna keep this one i have there's a nice amount of it there but i already have a lot of little trim and this color itself probably not something i'm gonna use so, so i'd rather it go to a home a nice home and then lastly for the things that fell out we have this floral lace i don't have a lot of it so i'm not sure how useful it will be for me but i could do necklines or cuffs with it because it's a really pretty lace and it's quite big i'm probably gonna keep this one okay so we're back to the maybe pile this scallop lace nah i have enough scallop lace tiny tiny scallop lace i think i'm going to keep this one i'm planning on making a new petticoat and a new chemise so this might come in useful just as an accent for that and it means i can thread ribbon through it which you see a lot on um, Victorian undergarments and then we are on to the final bag first up we have this lace and I have a huge amount of it and you can fussy cut it in between these flowers so you could go like that and this is the one that I would love to use for my ball gown for the prior attire ball in May I have so many ideas for this one and I think it will be fabulous so this one is definitely a keep it's so drapey and kind of soft and it just oh it moves so well I'm so excited to use this we have this kind of adorable trim that you could 
you know, you could firstly cut this bit out and then this bit, or you could just use it all as one. So I'm gonna keep this one because there's so many possibilities with it and I've got a lot of it. Then we have this kind of netty one. Again, you've got a lot of possibilities with it. You could fussy cut it. But I think I'll put that in my maybe part for now because I'm not 100% sure. This is an almost automatic no. I thought, because there is so much of it, I could use it as maybe um, a test fodder or something like that. But I'm not going to use it. So I'd rather, again, it goes to a home that will appreciate it um, and use it, you know, lovingly. We have this broidery trim. I use something very similar on, a, I can't remember which product actually. I know, uh, I think it was one of my chemises. There is a ton of it. It's very pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. It's probably not gonna be my first choice for things, but certainly for undergarments, it's always there. And lastly from the bag, and from all three bags actually, we have this slightly wider scallop lace. And it's got these kind of half flowers in it. And because it's slightly wider than the others, I'm gonna keep it. That's probably a bad excuse. But, oh well, I am I have a stash now. And of course, there has to be things in the stash. Actually, I've got rid of a lot more than I thought I would, which is nice. So the last for the lace is this one from the maybe pile. And I still don't know. I still don't know. I'm gonna say no. I've got a lot of nice lace in my yes pile. I probably wouldn't use this, you know, as it is. Although you could gather it up. No, no, I'm going to be good. And I'm going to give it to someone who will love it. So that was it for my lace haul. I have a couple of kind of smaller bits and off cuts and things like that. So when I sell these, I'll just put these in with it as freebies. That's kind of a nice bit of um, stretch lace, but it's too small a bit to, for me to really use um, it with anything. We've got a couple of kind of gartery things, and you could take the elastic off this and use the lace itself, but I think I'm just going to you know, give give these away and if someone else wants to use the lace from it, they can. So I hope you enjoyed coming along on this trim journey with me. I'm gonna put all of that lace back into the cardboard box. I'm going to photograph that and put it back in the bag. And I'm gonna put a poll up on Instagram of whether to sell the three coloured laces separately because I think people would prefer that maybe and then kind of sell the other coloured -y cream ones in a job lot. But I'll put a poll up on Instagram so go over and have a look at that and vote on which you think is the best idea. Either do it all as one job lot or do these separately. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me on the channel Anything I've mentioned that I have a link for will be in the down bar below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!